Ba -ba 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 -ba. What's good, work, guys? Matt McCoy, country song teacher. The other day on my uh, Matt McCoy channel, I did a little video out when I went, When the sun goes down on my side of town, that lonesome feeling comes through my door. of y'all wrote me DM said man you gotta teach it that style so I've taught it I think with the D E and A chords that kind of thing I'm gonna teach it with the three chords the G D and C so these are gonna be easy to play and then another thing is I have so many times beginners say all their songs sound the same I've been that way for years uh, where you just like everyone's kind of the same little strumming pattern that kind of thing doing this little pinch stop method is gonna be really cool kind of switch it up so we're gonna start with that G chord like in the two bottom strings of your third fret you go fifth and sixth. You go to, you use your thumb on the top string, your your first finger on the second string. You're gonna pinch those, stop, pinch those, stop. So that's kind of the strumming pattern. It goes like this. When the sun goes down on my side of town, that lonesome feeling comes through my door. Now you can go to C add nine just by sliding your top two fingers down. And now you're going to pinch the fifth in second. Whole world turns. Back to G, blue. Then C, G. Repeat it. There's a rundown bar across the railroad track. Got a table for two. Way in back. C, I said Bottom two lock, press the third string, and you're gonna pluck the fourth and bottom. I'll be alright as long as there's light. G from neon moon, C, G. Cause if you go C, lose you one, the only. There's always C, room here for the lonely. To watch your brother. In and out of beams of neon moon. So remember, what I'm doing there is like when you can stand that G chord if you want to, but I think it sounds pretty cool to go down to C and G. They kind of one C. And the key is you just want to know this works on your chord clarity because you got to be able to press the strings properly. It works on your chord timing. And then also kind of works on kind of positioning as far as which strings to press, that kind of thing. So remember on the G, it's the sixth and second. Pitch, stop, pitch, stop. On the C, it's fifth and second. If you wanna get real fancy too, every now and then, you can do the pinch without your first finger on the fourth string. Hear that? That has two sounds, so you pinch and you add, stop. Get a little, what's called musical dimension. Then again, for the, the D chord, it's fourth string with your thumb, bottom string with your first finger. Now, sometimes what I'll even do, just a little cheat code, make it sound cool, I'll take my pinky finger off. So sometimes, instead of keeping the bottom two strings locked, if I'm honest, I'll have just a second string on there, first finger on the third string. So I might be on, off, on, off, C. on the G chord, you can hammer on like that fifth string. So again, it's a cool little sound. Uh, this is in my four chord songbook, um, but I love this one. But actually, I don't know. It might be my prime country songbook. Um, by the way, somebody, uh, I get asked this once or twice every day or every, every two days or so. If you want to know the song list on my, my songbooks, click, when you go to countrysongteacher.com, click on the individual song, songbooks. So I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to fix it on my website, but sometimes if I have the bundle, I don't have the song list, but if you click on each individual book, Prime Country Volume 1, Prime Country Volume 2, Four Chord Worship 1, Four Chord Country Song Book 2, whatever, click on the individual book, you'll see the song list of all 40 songs, 50 songs, however many is on there, Sandbar, that kind of thing. So, all right, let's play this one together, right? We're going to do some jamming with Matt McCoy. I'll put the chords up right here so you'll kind of know where to go. When the sun goes down on my side of town, 
comes through my door Table for two, way in back. I sit alone, think I'm losing you. Oh, and I'll be alright as long, long as there's light from a neon moon. Cause if you lose your Jam there, guys. I love some Brooks and Dunn. If you want, I guess people ask me all the time, Matt, have you taught this song or that song? Always type in country song teacher Brooks and Dunn. So country song teacher followed by the artist, or country song teacher Neon Moon, or country song teacher. I'm gonna be some tidy country song teacher Wagon Wheel, that kind of thing. So a little pro tip. If you wonder if I've taught it, I probably have. I've taught like 3,000 videos online. By the way, guys, I hope you're following me too. I'm going through my four chord worship songbook on my acoustic selection uh, YouTube channel. So hope it's been a blessing to you all. I, I kind of go over, I sing the song and I go over some scriptures and stuff that God's put in my heart. So I'd love to have you over there on my other channel called Acoustic Selection. Every night, every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern time, I do one of my four chord worship song books, uh, four, four chord worship songs uh, from the four chord worship song book and do like a kind of Bible devotional on it. So hope it can be a blessing to you guys. Please go check out the website, countrysongteacher.com. All the word countrysongteacher.com. Got all kinds of stuff, strumming courses, beginner guitar courses, beginner piano courses, four chord song books. So hopefully something can be a blessing there for you. And please like and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Same bat time, same bat channel. Maybe I should say, who's my editor? Maybe I should say same mat time, same mat channel. Okay, let's go. Holla.